these were the first protests since Macron had offered some concessions to uh, demonstrators. Did they make any difference, those concessions? Well, that is a very good question, Belle. Good morning to you. The message among those who came to Paris to protest on Saturday was that, no, the concessions made by Emmanuel Macron did not make a difference. They were actually too little, too late. But as you mentioned there, 66,000 people took to the streets, according to government figures. And that speaks volumes about this next stage of this movement. 66,000 is half the number of those who protested the weekend before is a quarter of those who came out to the streets exactly one month ago when this whole movement started on November 17th. And of course, there were the concessions made by Emmanuel Macron that, of course, played a role among certain yellow vests, but there was also exhaustion. There was also lack of money. It costs a lot of money to travel to Paris every weekend. And of course, there was that plea by the French government for demonstrators not to take to the streets this weekend following another trying week for security forces here in this country who had to deal with that security incident, that mass shooting in Strasbourg where five people lost their lives. And Annelise, you talked there about the numbers uh, dwindling of protesters. Is this movement uh, losing momentum? Well, some uh, say yes, uh, Bell, because it was going to be very difficult for a movement that is this fluid, that has no clear guidance to keep on going for much longer, especially after the government made those concessions, concessions that had touched a bunch of their demands. But what I've seen for the seven days that I spent with several different groups of yellow vests across the country was a determination that you only find among people who truly believe in their cause, who truly live those hardships. And the result of that trip across the country is a documentary that you will be able to watch later today here on Euronews and Euronews.com where we got rare access to the yellow vests. Take a look. The Yellow Vests movement took its name from the piece of garment drivers must use to make them visible in case of emergency. The symbolism is indisputable. Those who felt dismissed, unheard, invisible have now taken over the spotlight. This road tow is private, and the money wouldn't end up in state coffers. But tonight, they have a more important point to make, to show the public is on their side. The yellow vests say they have the support of the majority of the French. Shortly afterwards, police arrived. And in a matter of hours, this blockade terminated. The yellow vests returned to camp. So what you've just seen there is a short clip from France's Days of Rage to be premiered here on your news and your news.com later today. It's a film about the anger and about a story the yellow vests say is far from over.